Well, this month is National Water Safety Month, and since we live right here in the Ocean State, it is only fitting that we talk about swim safety. So here this morning with some important information is Lindsay Mondick, Senior Manager of Aquatics at the YMCA of the USA. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So great to have you here with us. You know, it's so crucial that children out there, you know, learn how to swim, that they feel comfortable in the water. But it really is crucial for parents to learn and kids to learn water safety skills. I mean, safety really should be the number one name of the game, shouldn't it? Absolutely. At the Y, we be believe that it's not just a luxury to learn to swim, it really is a necessity because drowning still poses a considerable risk for children uh, all over the United States. And we hear about some of the alarming statistics, some of those lofty numbers when it comes to children drowning, and it's always so sad. So we want to do what we can to really eradicate that. So let's talk more about the WISE Safety Around Water program and really what that's all about. Right. So at the Y, we have been doing swimming lessons for over 100 years, and we are lucky enough to be uh, an organization that has over 2,000 pools across the country. So we really see drowning prevention as a call to action for our organization. And because of that, we have created the Safety Around Water program, which really is focused on serving underserved youth in our community to ensure that they have safe access to swimming pools and learn valuable water safety skills. Absolutely, and research has indicated disparities in drowning rates, so let's talk more about those and really what can be done to fix them. Yeah, recent research has, has shared that 65% of African Americans uh, and 40% of Hispanics uh, uh, don't know how to swim, and that's compared to 40% of Caucasians. And uh, in addition to uh, minority disparities, we also know that low income uh, also is a contributing factor to low swimmability. So let's talk about some of the water it safety lessons that you guys are, are really offering at the YMCA to make sure that we can remain safe. Yeah, so our, our Safety Around Water program is being offered around the country right now. Uh, this year, actually, the YMCA is giving 33,000 scholarships or, or away nationwide so that kids who don't have access to swimming lessons are able to learn those water safety skills. So in our safety around water program, uh, children will learn how to how to float on their back and front and they learn two key skills. One of them is jump, push, turn and grab. So if a child were to fall into the water, they learn how to turn themselves uh, to safety, reach and grab the wall. Uh, and the second skill is swim, float, swim. So making forward progress, teaching a child when they're tired to roll onto their back and then and turning back onto their front uh, to make their way safely out of the pool or out of the water. And lastly here, let's talk young parents out there watching you know, this show here today and they're wondering at what age should, should my children start to take lessons? Really, is there an age that's fit for everyone? Well, we say it's never too early or too late to learn to swim. Uh, at the Y, we start our swimming lessons at six months of age. Uh, again, it's never too early to get a child acclimated to the water so that the, it is easier to teach them swimming lessons later on when they get a little bit older uh, and can learn those, uh, those key skills for water safety. Well, Lindsay, some wonderful advice. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. It really is crucial. We want all those kids to be able to learn how to swim and, of course, to do it quite safely. To review this information, just head on over to roadshow.com.